calcium silicate. Talk to us about that. One of my absolute favorites. So calcium is a is a it's considered a secondary nutrient, but for a lot of medicinal plants and a lot of heavy fruiting plants, uh, calcium will actually uh, be about second or third as far as the amount that it'll store in the tissue and the amount that it'll actually uptake. Calcium mediates so many different aspects. This particular element is, it works really, really well to stabilize pH. So if you have a low pH, it is, it's not going to have as fast of an acting time to increase. It's not just going to make it jump up from like, you know, 5.5 to 6.5. It's more of a slow jump. So it, it's not as fact, fast acting as something like high calcium ag lime or even something like dolomite lime, which will jump it up a little higher, uh, faster. Um, but the benefit is that you get the calcium and the benefit of the silica as well. And although silica is not considered a, a, an essential plant nutrient, it's as it's not needed to complete the plant's entire life cycle. It's kind of something that really aids in a lot of other aspects that I'm not going to get too much into. But yeah, it's a it's a rock mineral, so some of it will be available. The majority of, of it will be cycled through different processes through the biology and the soil. And it's one of my favorites to actually front load uh, calcium early in the vegetative state when plants are really starting to you know fill out and put on the the green foliage and everything else and it helps with a lot of different things like chemical messaging uh, signaling it helps with um you know really thickening up thickening up the the the, the cuticle layers uh, on the the leaf surface which can help as a protectant from leaf eating insects and then it's also responsible for uh, helping with you know uh, the movement of other elements so it's really important another calcium uh, source that we would use and this one is actually a salt and so it has more availability right away is gypsum or calcium sulfate it's one of the other go-to mineral elements that I use to get adequate levels of calcium and there are a couple of other things too that i'll use for calcium but the calcium silicate and the gypsum are the number are are are, are the the first when we're talking about calcium because the other elements that we're going to talk about that have high levels of calcium on, in them also have phosphorus and some micronutrients that are associated with them as well and so in the instance that I would not want to be adding in any more phosphorus, if I had a plenty of phosphorus, I didn't need to bring any in, or uh, I didn't want to bring any other elements in and I was strictly addressing calcium, I would only use the gypsum or the calcium silicate. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. 